Hi, I'm Suzanne Jackson and I'm here with the Lelettes to talk to you about becoming a teenager and the changes I experienced growing up. I was late getting my period, so I was just going, I was in second year in school, so I was 14, and my friends were kind of getting them in first year, around 12, 13, so I was like, oh my God, I want my period. I was last in my group to get it. So I was in the bathroom, I felt something, and I was like, oh my God, this could be my period, and it was. I ran downstairs, told my mum, went back up and had a shower, and I felt great about myself. <laughs> Finally had my period. No, I didn't have a period kit because I was thinking it was never going to come. And I think the main reason why I wanted it is because I wanted to get boobs. Um, but my mum always had, I remember, a little bag on top of the, the toilet in her ensuite that had uh, panty liners and tampons and all in it. So I didn't have a kit as such, but I knew my mum had, so I was ready. Yeah, I remember I went through um, a phase of really bad stomach cramps and really heavy periods in third year, around the time I was doing my junior cert. And I remember I actually had to come home from an exam and get into bed for two hours before my next exam because I was in that much pain with them. But my mum took me to the doctor and I got some mild pain relief and then I was sorted after that. But yeah, that was a period that really stands out for me. You know, it's really what you're comfortable with. Um, you know, you've obviously got pads, panty liners, tampons. I think tampons are definitely one that people shy away from in the beginning because it's a routine, just, you know, you have to get used to it, but um, it's whatever you're comfortable with. I was always um, a tampon girl. Well, I would say like, you know, I was definitely irregular and sometimes my periods would last longer than they should have. And I kind of thought, was there something wrong? So I just spoke to my mum about it, went to the doctor and everything was sorted and it is normal. You know, some people react differently to their periods. But, um, but yeah, no, um, it didn't stop me from doing anything, but I definitely thought there was something wrong, but there wasn't, so don't worry. Yeah, I would just say don't let it stop you from taking part in sports, um, because at the end of the day, every, every woman will go through a period cycle, you know, um, and there's lots of resources out there like tampons and so on and so forth, and you can probably calculate your periods well so you can kind of plan your sport around your monthly cycle, but don't worry about it, it's not a big deal as such, and live your life as normal, just pretend it's not even there.